Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make a wine glass in Archicad. Uh, first we need to adjust the dimensions that we're using because currently I'm working with meters and I'm going here, I'm going to options, project preferences, working units, I'm going to set this up in millimeters and yeah one decimal is enough millimeter one decimal is enough and okay i'm going back to options and dimensions now and this one needs to be millimeter as well so now i am in ground floor here's my little Point that I'm using as a reference. I like to create objects around this point because it's easier to import, export. So I am going to find a picture with a wine glass and I'm going to use it as a reference. I have my images on the desktop. So these are the images that I want to use as reference. I'm just dragging in them all in my Archicad and I'm zooming out I just need to so these are my images with all the images imported now we need to scale them so click on the first one and Control K while that picture is selected then this little window will appear with the resize option you click OK there's nothing that you need to change and now I'm going to zoom in to the base of our wine glass and I'm clicking here where it begins and then if you want to have a straight line you hold shift and then click here as well and now what you see is the dimension is 5643 which means uh, 5 meters and 64 centimeters but we want to make it 6 centimeters so that will mean I'm going to pre press R and 60 will be, I know it's a very small image, but this is the correct scale. So I'm going to drag this closer to this point where we usually work. I'm going to rescale this one as well. So Control K, OK, going here, holding Shift to have a straight line, pressing R, 60. Great. Now I'm going to drag this one uh, close to the our point, our zero gram point. And I have another picture here for a normal glass, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it six uh, centimeters as well. So Control K, OK, and I'm going to make it from here to here. I'm going to make it. Now drag it closer to all point here. Right, now I'm dragging this picture in the center of my scene. I'm zooming in. Now we have our reference scale. Of course you can use any reference and you don't have to scale it, but just to make sure we're doing the correct thing. Now I am going to use a polyline because I want to construct uh the shape of our glass is not perfect the image is not perfectly looking straight at the glass but we can still use it as a reference so i'm going to decide on the middle of it because i want to see it so i'm going to make it red but this is just uh to see it is has nothing to do with our polyline the shape of the glass I'm going to correct it later. I'm going to add a bevel. So, right. So, this will be the outside of our glass, but I will do the inside as well. I'll show you when 
will reach that point because I really like to have the thickness of the glass. Please let me know if you'd like to have a tutorial for Cinema 4D or for 3ds Max. We can create anything. So this will have to be where it stands. And now I'll have to go back in a straight line. Right. Now, what I will do is I'll apply to all our corners. I'm going to put this here. And now I'm having a bit of a curved wherever it can be. A curved corner. Now, because I told you about the thickness, this one, I'm going back here, I'm creating so if you want to continue polyline, you use this option, it's actually called continue polyline. Now, let I'm improvising here for a second because I cannot really see. But I'm going to assume this is going to be the thickness of my glass. I'm going to work like this. This is actually a very easy part because we don't, we don't need to go uh, to the bottom. Here is where the glass ends. So let's do like this. And now I'll continue because I want to meet with the point at the bottom. Right, so now I have my glass. I need to fill this polygon with actual fill. So I'm going here with the polyline selected. I'm going inside and I'm clicking. So now I have a polyline inside. And with the polyline selected, you will need to create a mesh. But now let's go to mesh, uh, sorry, to morph. So to select the correct option. So we're going to use this, which is geometry method revolt. We're going to use the revolt. Now, escape to unselect, select your fill, and now go to the morph because you've chosen the revolve option. And now holding space you see the magic tool says click inside and now you will see the revolve now go with the revolve you will need to go to the middle part so that's the set the center where you want this to be revolved you just need to click you see if you're holding shift There we go, holding shift and click. So you have to click two points and now it asks, it's asking you the revolution angle. And the revolution angle is 180, but we actually want 360. So we want this to go all around and okay. And now we have the glass. Now let's go to our generic perspective. If you want to find your object, click here at the bottom fit in window. There you go, you have your glass here. To be able to go around, Now, because I've done this in a uh, ground floor, of course you can do it in section, but I will need to create a section to and to be able to turn it around.
open section. Here's my glass. And you can rotate, so control E because it's morph, so you can rotate in any direction. And now I'm going to turn perspective. Here is my glass. Of course, I just wanted to show you that you can do it in ARCHICAD, but uh, it's actually easier to do it in a Cinema 4D or in 3DS Max. But if you don't uh, have the those options, you can work around in ARCHICAD. Now let me show you how you can do it in a section view. So remember that section view that we created earlier, I'm going to use it. And I'm going to ground floor just to copy this uh, image of the other glass. So I will edit, copy, go into section, edit, paste, and center to the current view, and find it like this. So let's do what we've done earlier directly in here. So I'm using polyline. I want to create a um, the middle, I want to have it as an axe. I'm going to make it red so that I can see. I'm going to move it a bit to the center. Right? Does it look like a center? No, I need to push it more. Okay, now I think we have the center. Now let's start with the polyline. So from the middle, I'm going straight here because this is not a straight image. And now I'm just clicking around this glass. Here we need to add more segments. The more segments that you add, the most the more curved your glass will be. And now, wait, I think I will need another one. Okay, now I'm going straight into point here and go on after the image that I see. Now I have to go straight because, and I need to add a little bit of curve at the end. And now I'm going straight here until, let's say, this point here. Okay. And now, with this segment that I need to bevel because. Okay, I am clicking on it and I'm going a bit back to this point here and then I will continue. So when you drag and, and you don't click, you have these options here. So continue polygon, well, sorry, continue polyline. And I'm just going around the glass because I want to create the thickness of it. Oh, that point is not that good. Adjust it. So I'm just going to go to meet here. Add a new point here. And then correcting this spot. Right. So with this polyline selected, you can do the same thing with the fill. So go in the, the center of your, just to be inside your shape, hold space, 
click and then you're filling this shape and I'm going to morph to be sure I have the revolve selection yeah so geometry method revolved and now I'm going I'm selecting my fill with the fill selected going to morph and hold to morph holding space click inside make sure you click here and here to have a straight line when it's asking you how many um the angle of the revolution you need to put 360 if you want this to be turning around then okay add uh, please send me messages if you have any questions or you can uh, pop up a commentary and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.